How are you doing? So I'm going to do a little something different tonight. All the readings earlier got chewed up, so those meanings, the messages were not for public consumption, I guess. So they recorded with no audio. So that, to me, there's something about that. So just trash all that and let's look forward a little bit. I'm going to do a little bit more channeling here. Fire signs. Do some, I'm doing something a little different tonight, okay? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus, fire signs. Feel free to swap around the energy. Whatever resonates with your situation, this is a general read, okay? Um, yes, I am going to be doing North Node, uh, more, more North Node. We're also starting the spiritual business class next Monday, the 13th. All right, so if you want to get in on that, build your business online. I'll teach you everything I know about YouTube. Ta-da! All right, so let's see what's going on for you, Aries, Leo, Sag. The links are below for the classes. <laughs> Blessed. I like it. It's 22 card. Tick-tock. Ah, really? I shuffled a lot. Okay. I'm going to do this just to give me some additional information. Oh, I got two. All right. So fire sign, mystic healer, passion and pleasure. I feel like you are moving down the road of doing your own business, doing your own work. That's going to be very beneficial for other people. You're going to help people navigate. All right. You're going to help people understand and heal from previous situations. Um, moving into passion and pleasure, helping people open up. Okay. That's one of your capabilities here. Healing energy flows through you. Savor your life. Um, this is about, I mean, it is about having more fun, but it's more than that. It's about like you're making your work fun. Your work is right now. You're shifting into this mystic healer. This is the right thing to do. Um, it's time. Okay. It's time. You are blessed. You are very gifted. Okay. Um, I feel like you haven't trusted this. You haven't really been trusting this, your gifts. You haven't really been trusting it. <laughs> Stay focused. So if you have been questioning what you've been doing or wondering if things, because the world is changing so much, wondering if, if this healer, um, direction is the right way for you. Stay focused. Okay. The world, we are all the healers, the teachers of the world. We are going to be so, we are already, but we are going to be much more in demand, much more necessary as we move forward. So I feel like it is time. Tick tock. Don't let any grass grow under your feet. Okay. It's time to move in that direction. It is going to be fun and joyful for you. I know you already feel that because like, it's not just, I mean, I love being a teacher because I feel like um, there's just so much joy in knowing that whatever I'm channeling or whatever's coming through me, there's somebody who will benefit from what I'm saying because this is coming from another place, right? This is, it's just flowing out of me. And the, I get so much pleasure out of knowing that um, this work I'm doing has impact. And you're going to be the same. You are a gifted, a gifted healer, a gifted teacher. Okay, a gifted healer, a gifted teacher. All the readings are going to be different tonight. I'm just feeling it. Like, this is a little bit of freeform Sunday. <laughs> Hanged man underneath. Not knowing what to do. Fool. On a new path here. This is for you. Six of Swords. Ace of Swords. Wow. Page of Cups. Queen of Pentacles. I'll go through this with you. King of Pentacles. Hello, my darling. Five of Swords. Somebody in the past. You're really leaving behind a situation that was bad for you. Okay? Something that was really bad. Ace of Cups. Five of Cups. Three of Swords. World. Okay. So in the past, um, I feel like you're going to be moving toward, um, King and Queen. 
of Pentacles, moving toward a very stable relationship. Somebody's coming on the path right now um, who you know it. There's Your intuition is very good. You could meet them through your work as a mystic healer, okay? Either way, this person's coming on your path. You have just left a path where the person you were dealing with, five of swords, three of swords, five of cups, it was not a good situation, okay? The opportunity is to really cut cut loose, okay? I feel like you were um, stuck, okay? And something has freed you. It could be the way the world is changing right now. You just know your direction. I, I feel like you also might have had some kind of prophetic dreams or um, things have been coming to you about moving forward. It just seems like a natural move to make. You know, you could have, you could have lost a job that you really couldn't stand. Um, you could have, and you're like, do I want to work really hard to get that kind of job back when I could be doing my calling? This is your calling. Okay. Uh, and you're going to need to stay focused, hold the course in order to um, make this happen. Um, I feel like somebody from the past, a former love uh, might have undercut your confidence. Okay, and you might still be pining for them a little bit. It's time to end that. Okay, no looking back. No looking back. Keep moving forward, right? Sharks move forward, never look back. Ace of Cups. What's that book? The reason that's called a breakup is because it's broken. So if you were tempted, you might have been tempted to go back to an old boyfriend or an old girlfriend and it's not working out all that well. It might have felt like it was the right thing to do at the time, but I feel like it's going to be wrapped up. Okay. There's new love coming in. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. I feel like when you get stable with your career here, when you get stable in your life, this is going to bring in the energy of the King of Pentacles. All right. And the universe is saying to you, forgive yourself for getting involved with this person. Forgive yourself. Okay. Um, this new, this new path is a lot of fun. Okay. As a mystic healer, it feels like fun to you. And so you might think it's not serious. It's not, it's not going to be my career. Is it? Yes, it is. You're following your calling here. Okay. Um, this old world, your job, you, everything, everything just got swallowed up. All right. By all the stuff that's going on in the world right now, it's just everything. I, I feel like you had a lot of heartache. I felt like, you know, maybe the job was just so difficult. You had a bad boss or something like that. Something was really out of whack for you. All right. You might've been stuck. A hanged man is also, now you're seeing things from a different perspective. You really are shifting your perspective about things. And new, new, new coming in. Ace of Swords, Ace of Cups. I love that this is here. So the Fool and Six of Swords. Whoopsie, come back here, Fool. Uh, Six of Swords is, so you are the Fool. You are walking this new path. And Six of Swords is the situation. So when those cards are in agreement, all right, things are moving forward. This is opportunity. This is the opportunity to speak your truth. All right, to be in the path or to, uh, to speak your truth about what you want to do in life. You may feel like, I don't care if it brings me money or I don't care. I just know that I have to change right now. It's, it's like you're, you're being given the opportunity by the world because you're not going to be able to go back to what was before. Okay, things are massively changing and you're not gonna be able to go back. So it's almost like 
you're going to be thankful for that because new things are coming in that are going to be very positive for you. Okay. So I'm going to keep going here. I'm going to keep on with this reading. I'm going to look at this person coming in, this King of Pentacles. All right. We'll talk about timing too about this. All right. I feel like this is now taking a leap of faith with your gift. Okay. Okay. All right. I'm going to keep going. The link is below. If you want to keep on the, with this reading, see you over there.